Hello guys and welcome to a different Russia channel. We are going to the Holy Spring to get some water because we are going to cook the real Russian tea in a big samovar. The video will be soon on my channel, but in this episode we would like to show you the typical Russian village and the local shop where the people who live in this village they go there to buy some products. This village is called Kastyshy. It is located in Moscow region, about 50 kilometers northeast of Moscow. That is about 30 miles from a Moscow Rhin road. In Russian it is called Umkat, Moskovskaya Kolcevaya Avtodoroga. This particular village is really very, very tiny. The population here, so you won't believe, 88 people. So even not 100 people. So really a very small village. It has only one street. It is called Novaya. <laughs> so also you may see that the road is rather good. That is the asphalt road. They have uh, a bus stop here and uh, buses go to the nearest town, it is called Frianova, and also buses go to Shokova, that is a big city in Moscow region. I have uh, also shown you Shokova in one of my videos. Uh, by the way, the huge supermarket that you often see in my videos, it is also located in Shokova. Shokova is really a very big city, about 25 kilometers from Moscow. So the buses go to different places from here. That is why if you do not have a car, it is not a problem to get to the nearest city. I should also tell you that usually in any village you may find one shop. I don't know why only one, but usually in the village they have one shop. If the village is big, so that may be two shops, but usually it is one. My mom lives also in a small village. They also have only one shop there, but their village is uh, really huge in comparison with this village. What to tell you about the shop? The prices here, of course, uh, not very cheap. If to go to a big supermarket, for example, in Shokova or a big supermarket in the suburbs of Moscow, the prices will be lower. But here, as you may see, <laughs> there is only one shop and that is why they uh, may uh, sell with high prices. Maybe you have noticed there are no fruit here and vegetables. First of all, because um, they spoil very quickly, you must sell vegetables and fruits very quickly. But here not very many people. That is one of the reasons why they do not sell fruit and vegetables here. Also, I should tell you that most of the people who live in the village, they grow potatoes, carrots, uh, cabbage, dill, parsley, lettuce. So, also there are a lot of uh, apple trees here, a lot of black currant and, uh, I don't know, gooseberry and many other bushes. Uh, so, that is why people do not buy fruit and vegetables here, because they grow them in their gardens. That is also one of the reasons. But as for cheese, sausage, I don't know, olive oil or butter or also ice cream, so all these products it is possible to buy here, but the prices are a little bit high. Also in this shop there is some special machine where you can pay for your telephone, where you can pay for internet, so that is also very convenient because nowadays uh, a lot of people here use internet and uh, everyone has a mobile telephone. Maybe that will be a surprise for you, but a few years ago not everyone had a mobile telephone only people in big cities, but now everywhere people have mobile telephones 
and even old people know how to use this telephone. As for computers, not everyone has a computer here, usually teenagers and um, people of uh, 30 and 40 years of age, as they know a lot in computers, but as for example old people, they are not friends with computers. For example, my mom doesn't know how to work on computers, so she can use her telephone, she can text some message uh, to me or to my sister, uh, she can call, but she doesn't know how to work on computer. So for many people here that is still a big problem. Not everyone has a computer here. So guys, thank you for watching. That was a small episode for you from a real tiny Russian village. I hope that it was of uh, some interest for you. If you have questions, please ask them in comments. Also, guys, I want to thank uh, you for your support on Patreon. Now I have the account and uh, right now I have 13 patrons that are people who support my project. And thanks to this help, very soon we shall go on some tour. So thank you to everyone for support. Once again, that is really a very huge help. Goodbye. See you soon in the next episode. Пока.